Meanwhile, the Gold Coast Mayor has vowed to make sure all of the city's beaches are open in time for the Easter holidays. But as Jessica Ross reports, it could be a hard promise to keep. A convoy of council vehicles cruises the coastline, inspecting beaches which have become construction sites where workers battle to fix what's been described as the worst erosion in 40 years. The tourism capital's image has also copped a battering ahead of the all-important Easter break. We estimate that bookings would be down 10 to 15 per cent on where we'd expect them to be. It's the last thing operators need. They've already lost millions in trade so far this year. But Gold Gold Coast City Council is spending $20,000 a day on restoration works. The heavy equipment are there to make sure the place is not just safe, but looking good. Some overseas tourists are none the wiser. We don't have great beaches, so the sand's wonderful for me, so I'm quite happy with I don't know what else to expect here, so I'm quite happy with it. But would-be visitors across Australia are getting the hard sell. I give you a moral guarantee that uh, at, um, all the beaches will be open. Improving the public's perception is one thing. Trying to control Mother Nature is quite another. And there's even more predictions of wild weather on the way. A cyclone is developing off North Queensland, potentially whipping up big seas later this week. Luckily, beaches aren't the only draw card. There is so much more to offer on the Gold Coast, and that's the strength of the Gold Coast today. God, yes. God, yes. Lovely ladies as usual. Yes. Plenty to see, plenty to do. On the Gold Coast, Jessica Ross, 10 News.